we are going to discuss about the ic engine performance and uh, ignition systems myself am rajkumar assistant professor department of mechanical engineering rohini college of engineering and technology course outcome after study this topic students are able to evaluate in the various performance parameters of ic engine highest coins level k5 this in this topic we are going to see about the performance parameters and calculations motors and heat balance sheet and ignition systems engine performance parameters first of all we are going to see the indicator thermal efficiency brake thermal efficiency mechanical efficiency volumetric efficiency relative efficiency mean effective pressure mean piston speed and specific power output specific fuel consumption in brake power means the means power available at output shaft and that is a crank shaft this is a brake power then mechanical loss or friction power means the sum of friction losses and pumping losses include the power required to operate the engine accessories like water pump and dynamo etc then indicator power means the power produced with the engine cylinder that is the brake power and friction power it is a mixture of brake power and Uh, friction power then indicating thermal efficiency it is a ratio between the indicator power to energy of fuel per second then uh, indicator power is the indicator power in, into power produced in cylinder that is indicator power equal to this so formula is there the mean effective pressure into length and area into number of cylinder and k it is n divided by n speed that is n divided by 60 into 1000 The energy of fuel per second equal to mass into calorific value of fuel in kilojoule per kilogram. Then brake thermal efficiency. Then indicator efficiency equal to brake power into energy of fuel per second. Then brake power is a where brake power the power available in at crankshaft. That is indicator power equal to PMP into lang L A N K divided by sixty into thousand. then bb equal to 2 pi nt divided by 60 into 1000 then this means n means uh, speed and t means torque energy of fuel per second equal to mass into calorific value of fuel in kilojoule per kilogram then mechanical efficiency equal to is a ratio between the brake power to indicator power the friction power is uh, different between the indicator power and brake power then volumetric efficiency equal to actual volume of flow rate of air into intake system divided by volume dissipated that is into n by 2 that is a capital n speed by 2 actual volume flow rate of air into intake system equal to m divided by rho m means mass flow rate kilogram per second rho in the density of air specific fuel consumption is the fuel consumed for unit time divided by power depending upon the power bsfc equal to brake specific fuel consumption and ifs fc equal to indicator specific fuel consumption it is inversely proportional to the thermal efficiency then performance parameters relative efficiency means there is a ratio between the actual thermal efficiency to air cylinder efficiency then mean effective pressure equal to average pressure inside the cylinder of an internal combustion engine based on the calculated or measured output that is indicator mean effective pressure equal to 60000 in the ip divided by lang then mean brake mean effective pressure equal to 60000 pp divided by lang then specific output equal to brake power divided by the area that is the area of the cross section of the cylinder then mean speed of the piston vp equal to piston speed vp equal to 2 into l into n l means length of the stroke n is revolution per second then most test the this method can be used only for multi cylinder ic engine the most test consist of obtaining indicator power of engine without any elaborate equipments the test consist of making in turn each cylinder of the engine no operative and nothing the reduction in brake power develop in petrol engine uh, uh, gasoline engine each cylinder is rendering the uh, no operative by sorting the spark plug of the cylinder to be made in operative in a diesel engine the particular cylinder is made in operative by cutting off the supply of fuel it is assumed that 
pumping and friction are the same when the cylinder in is in operative as well as during firing in this test the engine is first run at the record speed and the brake power is measured next one cylinder is cut off by short circuiting the spark plug if it is the petrol engine or by cut, cutting off the fuel supply if it is a diesel engine since one of the cylinder is cut off from producing power the speed of the engine will also change the engine speed is brought to its original value by reducing the load on the engine this will ensure that the friction power in the same where the k is cylinder where the k is cylinders then the indicator power k when all the cylinders are working ip1 plus ip2 plus ip3 etc where right we can write the summation of ip equal to pi plus ft that is where ipj is the indicator power produced by j the cylinder the k is the number of cylinder then heat balance sheet heat balance sheet is an account of heat released and combustion of fuel in the combustion chamber and its usually utilization in the engine to draw the heat balance sheet test or carried out on engine while it is run at some constant speed we can uh, put the formulas for uh, for making the heat balance sheet <coughs> heat supply equal to mf into cv that is unit is kilojoule per minute where mf is mf equal to mass flow rate of fuel that unit is kg per minute cv is calorific value of fuel kilojoule per kilogram then heat expenditure or utilization that is heat equivalent to brake power pp equal to pp into 60 heat rejected to cooling water heat carry away by the cooling water equal to m mw cbw t w 0 minus t w i kilojoule per minute where mw equal to cooling water circulation kg per minute where cp value equal to standard value that is <coughs> that is 4.187 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin then heat carried away by exhaust gas Yeah, equal to mg cpg tg minus tsa kilojoule per minute where mg equal to ma plus mf that is mass of air mass of fuel unaccounted heat these are the uh, formulas for uh, creating the heat balance sheet okay uh, heat balance sheet we are uh, giving the first of all we are giving the input at the heat heat is a input so some losses is there so maybe a uh, maybe engine uh, cooling water uh, cooling water uh, circulating it, it may be taking some heat so we have to find out the all uh, accountable heat and unaccountable heat from this uh, we are uh, find out the heat balance sheet okay here we are putting all the values in the heat balance sheet we we get the uh, final value okay so next of all ignition system so basically we have the three type of ignition system is there ignition what is the purpose of ignition uh, in uh, means to produce the spark in the spark plug for the combustion of fuels okay in the three types of ignition system is there one is battery ignition second one is magneto ignition third one is electronics ignitions these are the electro these are the three types of ignition system the basic ignition system it consists of uh, battery ignition coil and uh, switching devices spark plug so, uh, these are the basic components in the ignition system so now we are going to see the battery ignition system the battery ignition system is used in automobile that is ic engine to produce a spark in the spark plug for the combustion of fuel then it consists of uh, battery pilot resistor ammeter ignition switch primary winding contact breaker capacitor secondary winding distributor and spark plug and battery means the battery is used to rechargeable lead acid battery it store the electric energy and is used to provide the electricity for ignition then 
uh, ignition uh, switch it is used for important part of the system it is used for on and off the system then primary winding the primary winding has to, to 200 to 300 turns the current which is flowing through the primary winding and create a magnetic field the secondary winding has 21,000 tons of 40 gauge wire it is insulated to withstand high voltage as you can see in this diagram one end is connected to the primary winding and another end is the distributor then contact breaker the name itself indicate the contact breaker it means the adding and breaking the primary circuit to the ignition coil the function of the contact breaker is current flow in an ignition coil when it is closed and the flow stop when it is open in the above diagram you can see this the, in this diagram you can see this the capacitor is it is similar to electric capacitor generally it store electric energy in an electric field in capacitor two metal blades and uh, uh, separate from each other through the air which is the insulating material the main function of the capacitor is to prevent the arc from across the breaker point and if it is not connected to the primary circuit the uh, introduced voltage would cause an arc across the breaker point and it is very dangerous the distributor is uh, also plays a vital role in this system it provides the ignition pulse to the individual spark plug uh, the sequence of the correct time spark plug as you can see this diagram each spark is connected with a distributor the spark plus is used for uh, insulate injecting the spark and uh, which cause the uh, start burning of the air fuel mixture in this system spark plug used in SI engine so these are the basic uh, components used in battery ignition system then we are going to see the working principle of battery ignition system. When the ignition switch is turned on, the primary circuit gets closed and the current starts flowing through the heat. This current set up the magnetic field around the soft iron core of the coil. The current starts flowing through the condenser and the breaker point open and when it is closed, the current is flowing through the conduit breaker. When the current passes through the condenser, the condenser charges the primary current falls and magnetic field get collapsed. This changes in the magnetic field induced a current in the primary winding that flows in the same direction as the primary current and charges the condenser voltage to much higher than the battery voltage the stopping the current flowing from the battery. Due to this process the condenser gets discharged into the battery. Now reverse the direction of the primary current and magnetic field induce a high voltage in the secondary winding. Now the high voltage sent to the distributor by the high tension wire between the distributor and spark plug and ignition harness in connected as you can see this diagram. Now the current passes to the spark plug one by one and it will produce the spark for the burning of an air fuel mixture. And these are the working principle of battery ignition system and battery ignition system advantages means the battery system gives more power output fuel eff efficiency is also good there are no moving parts here battery combustion because it is a con convention system only 70 to 75 percentage of air fuel mixture gets burned but here more than 90 percentage of burn spark plug spark in intensity is also good battery ignition disadvantages means the battery ignition takes place more space compared to the other electronic ignition system. The battery is essential for generating the spark when the battery is discharged it, it won't start. It won't produce a spark when the spark plug is pulled. More maintenance because of arcing pitting of contact breaker point. The applications of battery ignition system means the first battery system is used in the SI engine for producing the spark to the spark plug. It is also used to light commercial and modern vehicle which are having the SI engine. Thank you.